Hey guys, I'm B, and welcome to another One Take Review. If you're new here, these are reviews where I give my unedited, unscripted, unfiltered opinions on board games. I hope to make these informative, but also just generally share my love and passion for board gaming with the community. Thank you so much for checking it out today, and I hope you enjoy it. Today I'm going to be talking about a game which is really close to my heart. It is The Adventures of Robin Hood. This game is a relatively new game. Um, it is a campaign living board uh, board game. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen me post about it quite a bit and you have some sort of an idea of why I would say this game is close to my heart. Now, when we first got sent this game, I had no, no idea really just how much we're going to love it. I think it looked really interesting, it looked really unique, um, but I didn't realize, I guess, all of the things that were hiding inside. Um, I think this experience for me is, it has become very, very closely linked with my family. So we first played this, my husband and I, just the two of us, we opened it up, we did the introductory um, chapter, which was really amazing. It was like sort of was like a tutorial, um, but then at the end of the tutorial, they kind of cut you off and are like, okay, now do the rest on your own. And that was really cool. We kind of like, oh my gosh, um, what are we doing? So that was really fun. And while we were playing, we, we play our games at night time after my kids have gone to bed technically, whether they're sleeping or not, who knows. <laughs> um, but they came out and they saw us playing and they thought it looked really, really cool. And we decided that the next time we played, we were going to have them come and do the movement for us. So they wanted to use the little meeple guys to make the movement because the movement is really unique. Um, when we came to the crunch time of it, I decided that I thought they should just play their own characters. I thought, let's just join them in. They're only four and six, mind you. This is a 10 plus aged game. Um, and I thought content wise, if there was anything weird or inappropriate, we would just leave those parts out of the chapter when we're reading it. Uh, but they could do the gameplay just fine. I mean, they know how to make the little meeples move. You have some measurement meeples that go along. Um, and I thought decision making wise, they're smart kids, I trust them, let's work together as a family and make this really fun. So Friday nights have become our Robin Hood night now where we all sit down together after dinner and we stay up a little bit late and it's fun for them because they don't get to stay up late usually and we play Robin Hood and they have become so invested. Um, my son plays as Will Scarlet, my daughter plays as Maid Marion and they, they just rave about it and they get so excited, they get so into it. Um, you know, we win a we win a chapter and they're up on the like on the table like yahooing and it's like just the best thing ever. So for me, board games is is so much about that experience that you can have with the others and your family more though more so than just winning a game. For me, that's that's what I love about board games, where they can bring people together, the way they can make you feel emotional, where they can make you have have you create memories like the. These Friday nights with Robin Hood, my kids are going to remember forever. They're going to think back to their childhood and they're going to remember Robin Hood nights. Um, and that is so special. And there are so few games that come along that really, truly do give you that experience. Um, we have had very few in our life that have. They're normally in my top three. Um, and Robin Hood is giving that experience. So, I mean, I don't want to call it too soon. We're only, uh, I think, four chapters in. But I, I would say you know, tentatively that Robin Hood, The Adventures of Robin Hood is going to be um, number four, like for me of all time games, like my top three will never change, this will be number four. Um, so I've gone on, but I haven't told you anything about the game. So like I said, it is a campaign living board game. So tiles are being flipped throughout the game, um, throughout each chapter. So there, it kind of reminds me of that labyrinth movie where she's going through a labyrinth and the, those little goblins are flipping the bricks behind her so that she's not knowing where she's going and stuff. That's very similar to this. So you are flipping tiles throughout the chapters. You are then resetting most of it to start the next chapter fresh. Um, there's this huge, like really thick, hardcover book which holds all the campaign thing it looks like a novel which is so cool um we've got so many different little um like meeples for for indicating different things you have a really cool turn order system where there are these tokens that you pull out of a bag randomly to see who goes first um, we have obviously enemies to defeat. We have a goal to complete every chapter. Those goals tie into the next one. Decisions you make this chapter will affect obviously the way that the rest of the storyline goes. It's just really great. Um, it is really, really great. And I think it has really exceeded my expectations. Um, I 
you know, I, I think this game is going to have so much life for us. Um, we're going to play it through, obviously, all, all the way through. And then I would go so far as to say it's a game you can reset because you're not, you're not throwing anything out. It's not one of those campaign games. You're just flipping tiles. We can reset. We can give it five years and we can start it all over again and it will feel fresh again. So I think that's really cool. Um, you don't get that in a lot of campaign games. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying that aspect of it as well. So for me, I guess after going on and on and on, I think it's probably no surprise that I'm going to give Robin Hood, The Adventures of Robin Hood, a 10 out of 10. Um, it's a beautiful game. It's a whole experience. It's going to suck you in. It's going to make you invested. It's kind of, it's part campaign, part unlock because you're just trying to figure out what to do next because it definitely does not lead you. Um, you need to be using your observation, your logic. Um, you'll get some hints along the way, of course, but in general, you need to you need to be switched on. Um, and it's just a whole a lot of fun. Love this game so much. Thank you so much for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.